Ryan, my pleasure. I'm so glad that everything worked out okay for you. You only were out of power for a couple of hours. Thank goodness it wasn't anything terrible and that you're able to move forward. And uh, we were able to find the time so quickly to, to reconnect. Thank you. That's good. I just didn't want to roast in my dog and I get a little hot. So we'd have to go somewhere, but that was yeah. good. So let's jump right in and let's get going. Who is Martin and talk about your backstory and then we'll get into what you're doing because I think there's some really great points we can talk about. Great. Thank you so much. So as you said, I'm Martin Salama. I'm known as the architect of the warrior's life code. And for me, life is really everything that I'm about these days. And I took that word life and turned it into an acronym. Live incredibly full every day. And for me, that encompasses two things, having a happy life and having a meaningful life. And I honestly believe there's a big difference between the two. When you have a happy life, it's self-love, self-care, even selfish. And that's a good thing. It's okay to be selfish. See, people think of it as a negative connotation. It, it is if it's taken in the wrong context. But it's okay to put yourself first. And that's part of being selfish, self-love, self-care. And that's the happy part. The meaningful part is the selfless part. What are you doing for others? What are you contributing to the world? How are you showing up in the world so that you can be that better for everybody else as you are for yourself? So that's where living incredibly full every day comes in. So that's all going to be part of our second part of our conversation. So a little bit, can you share your story again? I know you did oh. on our last version, but your story is powerful. And a lot of people can relate to it. And, and I want the listeners to be able to hear what you went through and then where right. you've taken yourself today. Okay, cool. But in eight, you guys might remember there was some kind of turmoil that went on in the world. We seem to get these turmoils every once in a while. So there was one in 2008. But my wife and I were working on a project for about five years before that to build a multi-million dollar health club and tennis center in New Jersey by the Jersey Shore. And that came about because the one day my wife was, I had just closed a business and I had residual income coming in. So it wasn't as if I had to just drop everything and find something else to do. Thank God. At the that was what was, my life was back then. It was uh, re real estate income and some other things. So she said, I just started playing tennis and I can never find anywhere to play. There's always no courts available. So that might be a niche that we could look into. I said, okay, that sounds interesting. Now, you got to understand something about me, Ryan. I only learned this years later as I was going through some other problems after 2008 that I was a people pleaser. And my need to please my wife was probably the number one priority in my life at that time. 